Physical fitness is the level of condition which allows your body to be active and healthy and your mind to be alert. Fitness includes your muscle strength and endurance. The ability of your heart and lungs to provide oxygen and nourishment to keep your body going. Maintaining a high percentage of lean body mass and a low percentage of body fat. And developing your body's flexibility. Bones form the framework of our bodies. Ligaments hold the joints together, muscles move the bones, and tendons anchor the muscles to the bones. Every movement you make requires the coordination of muscles, tendons, ligaments, bones, and joints. If any joint isn't flexible, your movement will be restricted in some way. And so a good fitness program stretches muscles and connectors to allow your body's joints greater flexibility. Okay, gang, here we go. Get in your squads. Before beginning vigorous physical activity, a series of warm-up and stretching exercises is required to achieve flexibility and help avoid injury. Okay, a little forward at the hip and big elbow circles. We want all of the stretching here in the shoulder. Move from those shoulders. Most of the joints in our bodies are capable of a wide range of movement, yet we use very little of this capability in our everyday activity. Freestyle. Okay, back into a backstroke. In sports or games, you're probably going to move quickly. Take those arms through a big circle. And make unusual demands on your body. Okay, gang, here we go, a little side stretch. Push those palms up, get your arms to your ears. Warm up you and stretching exercises prepare your tissues and joints for these unusual or surprise moves and should involve every joint in your body. Nice and easy. Bend as far as you can from your hip. Okay, nice going. Next stretches, here we go. Hold that body still, reach right on over, get your hand over your ear. Pull it to the side, nice and easy and slow. And back to the other side. You will see your athletic skills improve with better flexibility. Okay, to the front, nice and easy. Fast and jerky movements can actually tighten muscles. So very slow stretching movements are better. One big rotation. Here we go with the knee lift. Make sure you grab it up by the knee, not down lower. Nice, slow, easy stretch. Because tendons and ligaments shorten when they aren't stretched, these exercises should be done every day. And relax it. Okay, now, quadriceps stretch, pull it back. Nice and easy again. Get that knee out behind you. Pull way back. Good go, all right. Okay, that's enough on the quads. Let's go into the heel cord. Spread them out. Keep those feet pointed straight ahead or toed in slightly. Keep your weight on your front foot. Keep that back heel down. Good stretch. Push it forward. Now bend that knee a little bit and push it a little bit farther. Change sides. Remember, feet straight ahead. Back heel down. Ease it on forward. Bend the knee and go a little bit farther. All right, good. Okay, gang, here we go. Ankle stretch. Get out there in good position. Make sure you got good balance. Have control. Right on up over the top of that back toe. Now move it around in circles, both directions. This is an ankle stretcher. Make sure your weight is on your front foot so you're not putting too much pressure on that back ankle. It's a stretch for the back ankle. Okay, out of the ankles, that's enough. <clears throat> Here we go, a little hip stretch. About the same position. Carry your weight down, keep control. Get those hips down close to the ground. You want to stretch that thigh on the back side and the back of the hip on the front side. Nice and easy. 
Okay, that's good on that. Now let's get the inside of the thigh. Feet way outside, feet parallel. Okay, move down to one side, nice and easy. Keep your head up, keep those feet flat. Bring it down so you get a good pull on the inside. Okay, over to the other side, nice and easy. Slow and gradual, keep control of your weight. Don't bounce it, slow and easy. All right, good, stand up and relax. Okay, here we go with the last one. We always wanna finish up with a good back stretch so we get those big heavy muscles loosened up. Knees slightly bent, feet comfortable. Just come forward, let the arms, shoulders, and head relax. Remember, all these stretches should be easy. No jerky motions. Some of the largest muscles in your body are in your back. These muscles should be involved last, after you've completed your other stretches. Warming up properly and staying flexible are essential parts of your fitness program. Another important part is keeping your body lean and trim with a small amount of fat. Okay, up. Squad three and four with me, over this side for a little dribble drill. Food is your body's source of energy. The amount of energy you get from food is measured in units called calories. Even at rest, your body continually burns calories. The amount of energy you consume when at rest is called your basal metabolism. If you eat more calories than your body can use, the excess will be converted into stored energy, which we call fat. When you become active, your body burns more calories than when it's at rest. The additional calories your body then consumes come either from the food you eat or from the fat it has stored. Okay, you all know that we're supposed to have a high percentage of lean mass and a low percentage of body fat. That makes sense. One of the ways you can find this out that's very easy is look at your body in the mirror. Your body will tell you what's going on. There's a more scientific way, though, that will tell you also with an instrument that's called a skinfold caliper. And it's for measuring body thickness, body fat. It's got little pinchers, and it's got a gauge that tells you how thick. All right? During the next couple of weeks, we'll measure, and we'll take measurements and see how we are. But for now, we have our own calipers. If everybody would stand up. We always take these measurements on the right side of the body, right above the hip bone here, okay? Reach around with your left hand and pull gently. Don't hurt yourself. And then with your calipers, take a measurement. See how much thickness you've got there. See how thick that is. Good. And let's see. That's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Now, if you've got about a half an inch, that's good. That's good. If you've got more than that, that's not healthy. That's not healthy. Everybody sit down. If you come away with that much, that means you've got too many calories in your body. You've got to exercise more and burn those calories off, or you've got to eat fewer calories. But the amount of calories needed from person to person depends upon how much exercise you do. What we all have in common, though, is a need for balanced foods to provide all the nutrients our bodies need to remain active and healthy. Good nutrition includes getting the right balance of protein, vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, and fat into our diets. Meat, including fish and poultry, fresh fruits and vegetables, dairy products, and grains such as rice, cornmeal, and whole wheat bread are foods we need every day to be healthy. Boy, this looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> it's delicious. Foods that are high in sugar and fat should be avoided. Potato chips, soft drinks, or desserts might provide you with a lot of calories, but they are empty calories, which means they have little or no nutritional value. So remember two things when you select food at home, in school, or when you snack. First, you need well-balanced nutritional meals spread out over the day. And most important is a good breakfast each morning. Second, if you eat more calories than you use, you get fat. So good body composition means not eating too many calories and getting enough regular, vigorous exercise. If excess fat is a problem, learn to count your calories. Your school nurse or health teacher can provide a calorie chart for you. Remember, too, that being active means good body flexibility. 
being able to move your joints through a full range of motion. When combined with a proper limit on body fat, you're on your way to being as fit as you can be. Fit to be you.